Hello, I'm Sheehan Abbott, and welcome to Learn the Sword on TGN. This is a weekly show with a new episode every Friday, so just click below to view the whole program. The second basic concept is your stance. A stance is just a simple transfer of weight, positioning, and movement which carries the sword into and out of the target area. Correct placement of your feet and the positioning of your legs, hips, shoulders and arms are key factors that allow you to set up for your next technique. Gaydon. Yeah. Hip. Left Jodon. Yeah. Hip. Right Jodon. Yeah. Right Hasso. Left Hasso. <laughs> right Walking Okamai. <laughs> left Walking Okamai. <laughs> Number three are the basic cuts of Hapogiri. The purpose of a sword is to cut through mass. And there are many ways to cut, mind you. But you need to choose the correct patterns to be consistent and simple, yet effective and practical. Here are your eight basic cutting patterns. And the fourth basic concept is kata. Kata teaches everything from the basic footprint to all the subtleties of the sword. Every turn and movement has a set technique or pattern. Forms are a very important factor in your learning process. Let's take what we've learned so far. Put it all together and see 
what interesting patterns we can practice. Let's begin in a hostile position and execute a short, medium, and long range cut. When we execute these three cuts, we're also going to key eye. Eight, yop, toe. 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 Just follow along and slowly your muscle memory will be set again. From there you'll start looking at the techniques and go, I'm starting to understand this. Ah, I see how this works now. Within this tape, you'll see that I have different key eyes. At the very beginning, when I'm not exerting that much energy, my key eyes are low and guttural. Later, when I start becoming a little bit more fatigued, you'll notice that my key eyes are also changing. And practicing your thousand strokes, I want you to note that you probably are going to fatigue. The muscles in your back and your neck are going to start to hurt. And you might feel the next day like it's a little painful. All you need to do are a few stretches to alleviate that problem. Here are a couple I'd like to demonstrate for when practicing this first stretch, it'd be easier to sit down. What we're going to do is, we're going to stretch the muscles between our shoulder blades and our neck. You take your hands, your arms, and you cross them. And then you grab onto one of your feet. After you've grabbed on and grasped your heel, with your leg, I want you to push out and forward. With this, you'll start feeling stretching between your shoulder blades and your neck. This will alleviate a lot of tension. Another stretch is to hip grasp your fingers and put them behind your head. And pull down your neck and your head so you can stretch your neck and your back. And those two stretches will help your back. Stay limber and allow you to go on to the next thousand strikes without putting you into a challenging hip fest. There are many angles to cut from when you use the sword. Let's keep this simple and work with the basic eight. The first yeah. one is yeah. a cut yeah. vertical from 12 yeah. o'clock to 6 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. The second cut is yeah. a top yeah. right to a bottom left yeah. cut from yeah. 9 1 o'clock to 7 yeah. o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. next cut is Two. one that is called a Two. gyaku or reverse Two. where I'm cutting Two. from 7 o'clock to 1 o'clock and coming back up. Two. 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 Another cut is cutting Two. from 11 o'clock to 5 o'clock. And that one's reversed. Coming from 5 o'clock back up to 11 o'clock. There are also horizontal cuts that cut from 9, 9 to 3 or back 3 to 9. There are also stabs or thrusts. When you put all these together, there are eight basic cuts that you can work with that keeps it simple. What I'd like you to do is follow over on the other side and start working with those cuts. But it is very important to know, after every cut, hold it there for an extra beat or two to denote the end of the cut. 
Hit. A lot of times when oh. people start swinging Hit. the sword too Yop. fast, oh. the cuts become all Hit. blurry and you don't know where one cut ends Hit. and one cut Hit. begins. So Hit. make sure, instead Hit. of trying to go Hit. for Hit. a lot, go Hit. for the quality of Hit. the cut. Hit. And make sure Hit. they're all done Hit. at 100%. Men, go take. Men, go take. Men, go take. Men, When practicing your Men. thousand cuts Cote. over on the other Men. side, Cote. after you Men. put in a fair Cote. amount of the repetition, Do. your mind will start to wander. Men. That's Cote. all viable and great. Do. The difficult part is Men. your technique Cote. becomes sloppy. Do. Sloppy technique Men. can't get to the target Men. in time. Men. What I'd like Men. you to understand Men. is Men. you need to use Men. focal Men. points. Staying consistent with these focal points allow your sword to cut straighter and more true. During this lesson plan, if you don't do 100 strikes a day, don't worry about it. You might have to build up. Start off with 100, 200, go to 500, then go to 1,000. After you finish 1,000, then we'll start working out while we start doing 2,000 or 3,000. Remember, most cuts and strikes usually take about 20 minutes or so to complete 1,000. So use that as your guideline. A key is very important. A key keeps you from fatiguing. If you put in the key quickly, you'll be able to go to two or three thousand cuts. Within this tape, you'll see that I have different key eyes. At the very beginning, when I'm not exerting that much energy, my key eyes are low and guttural. Later, when I start becoming a little bit more fatigued, you'll notice that my key eyes are also changing. Yup. Hip. Yup. Hip. Yup. Hip. Yup. Hip. Yup. Congratulations. Hip. Hup. You have just finished your thousand yeah. strokes for the day. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to yeah. contact me at learnthesword.com. Yeah. Hip. Yeah. Hip. Yeah. I am Sheehan Abbott, and I look forward to seeing you next Friday on TGN. Until our next lesson, be well. Thank you.